Hi, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to give you a walk through a sort of review of what the OneNote app is like on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 or really any Android tablet or phone with stylus support for that matter. That's why I've got my Note 8 here so that we also can take a look at how the apps hold up on an Android phone. And the reason I say hold up is because I'm planning on making this a series. So this is the first video in the series where I'll go through OneNote. Uh, in the next episodes, I'm thinking of showing you incredible lecture notes, squid, write, and bamboo paper. That these are my sort of go-to apps for digital note-taking on Android, so on my Tab S6. Timestamps are in the description. Let me start off by explaining you the sort of structure of this review. And that is that I've prepared this these sort of points that uh, sort of pertain, um, pertain to what I think the ideal app for note-taking should consist of. So here's the first category of note-taking experience and we have the second one of user-friendliness and other features. So, uh, right off the bat, you don't really have that many options as you do on Windows and on iPads. You only have these four favorite pens. You can change the color, but you only have 15 colors to choose from. And here you can change the thickness, but at least you have these accessible. Some of the other apps don't have a sort of uh, designated tray for your favorite pens. So let me just write something here. You can see that it's pretty smooth, but it sort of shifts. Do you notice that? that the text sort of shifts as you write with your stylus. So if we zoom in even more, it's good at capturing my handwriting, but it's sort of annoying that the text shifts as you write. That's sort of a deal breaker for me personally. Try to rate it. The writing experience is great, but they could have fixed the sort of uh, bugs uh, surrounding the shifting of the text. Pen types, you have four of them, but it would have been great with the option to add even more. Then, whoops, yeah, that was the wrong one, yeah. But pen types, you don't really have any pen types. It's just this ballpoint pen, uh, but it is pressure sensitive, so you can sort of com compare it to a fountain pen, I guess. So that's okay. Changing color mm, works works okay but would have been great with the, oh, an option to add custom colors as I said. Taking notes and images so this here is an image and the important thing to look after is that the image shouldn't move around while you write on it. That has happened to me on um, my Windows computer. So I can actually give that an awesome rating and then the highlighter. The highlighter is really something that impresses me when it comes to OneNote because none of the other apps I'm going to go through in the series have that function that as you highlight something, even, it's, even if it's an image, the highlighter goes under the text. So the text stays on top of the highlighter no matter how many times you highlight the text. It's the same with uh, your handwritten text. Right, so the highlighter works great, I mean awesome, and uh, 
scrolling and zooming. Scrolling and zooming on OneNote is just like in any PDF, uh, like inbuilt PDF viewer. It's really smooth, you can move sideways, up to the right, up to the left. It's really smooth. So, yeah, and then we got the S Pen button and the eraser function. So, what I really like about OneNote is how you have the, uh, well, the eraser erases the whole line and not just like a small part, not just a small stroke. So, if we erase here, the whole highlighter disappears. And I think that's a better option, but it wouldn't be um, great with the option to sort of alternate between these two erasers. I know Squid ha has that function actually. So, S Pen button, and when it comes to the S Pen button, it would have been great to have the option to maybe make it choose the selector tool, so this one, instead of the eraser. So I'll give both of those a great rating. Yeah, now we got the backgrounds and choosing your own format and screen ratio. So when it comes to that, you have to go to view, and well here you got page color and you can choose the color and then the grid lines but the the sort of uh, disadvantage is that you can really um, change the line height so that makes note taking a bit less enjoyable in one note and uh, so but at least you have the option to uh, choose your colors, so that's okay, I mean. Choose your own format. You can choose your own format in OneNote. Uh, it's just this infinite sort of uh, format ratio. Annotating PDF, so I'll just cross off now there because I haven't been able to make well, importing PDFs work in OneNote, the app just crashes. Layers, and OneNote also doesn't have any layers function. Now to the next sort of checklist. User friendliness and other t features. So what I really like about OneNote is that you actually have a lot of freedom when it comes to folders, subcategories and searching. But I won't give it a great rating because it wouldn't be great with the ability to add even more folders. So right now you have the option to add one notebook, then a folder under that again, and then, uh, well, I mean a subfolder and then another subfolder. So one notebook and then two subfolders. But I'll, uh, th they've got a nice searching system. I'll give them that. So. But I don't think it can recognize handwritten text as it does on Windows. Let's see if we write use yeah, user or features. Oops, let's try. So yeah, it actually recognizes the text on the image, but not the handwritten text. Or let's see apps for note-taking. Anyways, long story so short, the um, you can search for handwritten text like you can in uh, on Windows, I mean. Yeah, so next one. Timestamps. Yeah, OneNote has a great system of timestamps. It, uh, it actually comes up automatically. The time uh, you created the document actually, so not the last time you edited it, like some of the other apps do. Have okay, exporting files. To export files, you press here, and then share page. Has to choose stop here to actually open the PDF. Open with yeah, Drive PDF Viewer, and here we have it in. Uh, in a kind of sideways A4 ratio, but you can't really choose the ratio yourself. Let's go back. Uh, 
and now so that works great but would, would have been great with the um, would have been even better with the ability to export to jpeg uh, that's a file that's much easier to share with others and backup backup works awesomely because it actually back up uh, backs up stri straight away like uh, every few seconds i think to one uh, one drive cross platform syncing it works really well uh, when it syncs to your computer and well now we've gotten to syncing to other android devices so i'll open up my note 8 here and get to press here yeah and to be noted you only have two uh, well your uh, two sort of favorite pens in one note on your android phone and just one highlighter and you can change the color of the highlighter it's the same on the tablet so if we just write something oh <laughs> I do uh, take this out out uh, but it actually works on both devices so but anyway when you write something here one note you can see it appearing straight away on the other screen so one note is no, I wouldn't say is. I would say has potential on Android. So let's move on. So that's actually awesome. And the phone experience is awesome. Well, I mean, great, because they sort of removed a couple of features, like the ability to have four favorite pens on your phone for some reason, and only one highlighter. I don't know why they did that, but yeah. Now we've gotten to, now you actually only have these four pens. So I, I guess it has to do with your screen size. If you have a small screen size, you don't get four favorite pens, you only get two. So you could be writing something here, moving it around, changing the opacity. Let's uh, open up Notion where I made this uh, template for this review. You could be scrolling and then let's see. I think you can do something like this. No, nah. you probably have to make it full screen first. Wrong button. Yeah, and OneNote also works great in split screen. Let's see. Let's make it. Let's make it full screen again. So split screen works great. Widget support. When it comes to widget support, OneNote actually has the most widgets out of the apps I'm going to cover in this series. So uh, it's it can open your recent OneNote files easily. Which part? Text experience. Let me get my... Whoa. So when you enter Dex mode, it actually... It actually exits, exits the app automatically. You have to enter it again. But the scrolling experience, in, like zooming, works great with your mouse pad. And uh, let's see. Yeah, you can even use your pen in Dex mode. So let's give the Dex mode an awesome rating. Then we've got the typing text part. You actually have to press stop again and then insert and then click somewhere. And you can type something. Uh, how is it type in a note using. Whoops. Dex. How is it to type in one note using Dex? Good question. Let's see if we can change the oh 
what happened? Okay, let's choose the lasso. Let's see if we can change the font or the color and size. No, it actually, it seems like you can do that in OneNote. So it's a, yeah, OneNote on Windows and iPad is light, years, light years away from what it is on Android. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. So typing text, yeah, works okay. And pricing, but when it comes to pricing, <laughs> one note is great because if you're a student and have, have an office account, you can use it for free. So that's it. I hope you liked the review. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, leave a comment about what you think are the best note-taking apps on Android, or more specifically, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. See ya.